What's up everyone? How's your Saturday afternoon evening going? Just wanted to check in with you quick. I'm just finishing up a little open house I did here over at my One Jefferson co-op. Uh, I do a last minute open house song because I had a couple people that wanted to see it all at the same time. So I said, why don't we do an open house? But I want to show you around real quick. All right, so we come up the stairs here. Boom. This is the unit here. Got a nice big closet here on the way in. Nice, beautiful hardwood floors. Nice open living room, kitchen area. Nice clean white kitchen, gas stove. You got dishwasher, stove, microwave, and fridge. You got a nice top floor, corner unit. Nice view out here. Built in ACs. Bathroom set up here. All white, neat, and clean. More storage closet there. This is the bedroom here. Built in AC. Nice big closet here. Great storage. This is where you enter here. So that's the front gate, and you walk in, and then nice manicured landscaped courtyard. All right, so this is the unit here. All right, so this is one Jefferson <coughs> unit K11, and this is going for 259. It's a one bedroom, one bath. And maintenance is only seven, what are we at? Seven, 14 a month, which makes this very affordable. If you were to get a mortgage on this, put 10% down, throw like 25,000 at it, and uh, finance it at like 3% over 30 years with the mortgage and the interest, you'd be paying that about 1,800 a month, which is less than you'd pay for this if you rented it as an apartment. So if you are out there renting an apartment for two grand a month, talk to me. We can get you in here, you can own it for two grand a month. You can start building equity. You could have your own place. You won't be paying someone else's mortgage. So if you're out there and you're renting for 2,000 a month in that range, come see me, we'll get you with the mortgage guy. We'll get you finance, we'll get you in here and you will own your apartment and you will build equity rather than paying someone else's mortgage. So that's how we do it in life. We start buying real estate as early as possible and start building equity. Um, you can rent this unit, so if you want to live here for a couple of years and then later on maybe move to a house or something, um, you can keep it and rent it out. That's what the current owner has done. Uh, she's been renting it for the last couple of years after she lived here for a couple of years. So um, anyway, this is one Jefferson, right in the heart of Rockville Center, close to everything, close to the train, close to all the restaurants, everything Rockville Center has to offer. So I'll give you one last look around. This is the kitchen area here. We had the open house today. We had a couple people come down. All right, we got a dishwasher, you got a gas stove, refrigerator, microwave. You got two built-in AC units. This is your living room here. Again, this is your bathroom, full bath here. Some storage here. Bedroom here. Nice corner unit, which is nice. This is the top floor, so you have no one above you making noise. Lots of storage here. All right, so. This is what we're working with. One Jefferson in the heart of Rockville Center, unit K11259. Again, if you purchase this, you'd be paying less than you would for a apartment and you'd be building equity. So, all right, hope everyone has a great Saturday night. Uh, we had our open house at 35 WAG also today. Had a bunch of action there. So, some interest to see if we get that one going. That one is a really hard to find house. Six bedrooms, two baths on a 72 by 100 property in Malvern, all brand new and updated and beautiful. Taxes are only 16, they've been grieved, they're gonna go down a little bit. It's got a full basement, um, great house, ready to go. If you're looking for a house for an extended family or your own family, there is two bedrooms on the first floor, which works out nice for possibly mom or dad or someone living with you. And then there's four bedrooms and 
a full bath up with a jacuzzi tub, nice big bathroom, and then a giant backyard and a big basement. So the house has a lot to offer up at 789. Um, that is basically where it needs to be, 2,600 square feet. I sold the one on Cornwall Avenue, 522 Cornwall. That was a four bedroom, three bath on a main road, not much backyard. And that one got 749 for it. So we're at 789, this house is 300 square feet bigger. It's on a big 72 by 100 lot on a side street, nice spot. And uh, a lot more bedrooms, six bedrooms. So if this is something you're interested in, come down, take a look, and uh, we'll help you either way. So if you're looking for a big house, we got 35 Wagon Malvern. If you're looking for a one bedroom co-op, I got you here, one Jefferson. Rockwell Center. Of course, if there's anything else you're looking for out there, I have full access to MLS. I can show you anything that is out in the world and negotiate it for you and get it bought. There is no cost to you as a buyer for me to help you buy a home. Uh, I get paid through the uh, sellers, through their uh, commission agreement. So if you're out looking on your own, uh, there is no reason to. I can help you. I can negotiate for you. I can make it all happen and it won't cost you anything. So if you're looking to buy, reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. All right, well, happy Saturday. We will see you tomorrow morning on the ride at dawn. It's gonna be raining, it's gonna be wet, and we're gonna ride. So I already, I'm already getting asked, are you gonna ride in the morning? Yes, we ride every day. Rain, sleet, snow, we ride at dawn. No matter what life throws at you, we ride. Get up and ride every day. All right, everyone enjoy, we'll see you in the morning.